Lee Griffin, you're from TBG. You just had a presentation about Facebook marketing. Now, there was one figure that you said if you had the landing page of your advertisement campaign inside Facebook, there's a 500% increase in conversion. Explain. Yeah, so this is a, a campaign where we're doing data capture for an Optical Express, a laser eye surgery client. Uh, it's quite a vanilla product on Facebook and people don't like to leave Facebook to put in that data. When we hosted the same page that was on the advertiser's website in a Facebook frame, we got a five times better conversion rate. Very simple. Just so the ad was on Facebook, the landing page was on their own site, and then you changed it inside Facebook, five times better, uh, better conversion. Yeah, absolutely. We have a, a little product that actually would match a landing page in Facebook to the colors and content of an ad. We call it Smart Pages. Dynamically built for one of 15,000 ads, has 15,000 landing pages built dynamically in Facebook. That has an average of 284% uplift for all of the clients we work on. So, that was a good tip if you want to go into Facebook advertising. Now let's go back to basics. Um, Facebook does 1.5 billion, uh, Google 30 billion, so they're 20 times as big. How big is Facebook advertisement uh, in the UK here? Uh, that's a really good question, and numbers that are not quoted by Facebook. Uh, difficult to say, I would probably imagine something in the region of, uh, let's say, uh, 400 million a year. In? In a year. In where? In the UK? Or That's what you, yeah. you think 400 million of advertisement in the UK? Yes. And they do 1.5 billion worldwide? Yeah, because don't forget that most of that is, I don't know the num numbers, but most of it is in America. A big chunk is in the UK, in Europe, uh, South America, but there's a big chunk in the UK. Okay. So you think actually that advertisement in Facebook is on its way up because 400 million in the UK is huge. Huge amount, yeah. But the advertisers in the UK are spending a lot of money. Uh, all of the homepage adverts on Facebook are booked out for the next four months. And we're saturating the market with all of our ads. So yeah, it's a lot of money. So now tell me the basics. When should I, uh, wh what brands are most suitable to advertise on Facebook and what kind of technology management do they need to make it effective? Because there's a lot of crappy ads out there. There are a lot of crappy ads. Uh, firstly, you need to be a business that has some mainstream marketability. So probably a big brand, but not necessarily, but a big universe of clients. You need to have a well-run business. So a business that has good margin and operates efficiently to be able to spend money on advertising. Because it's not cheap in Facebook. Uh, just like Google is not cheap, Google managed to make sure that the best businesses are in the first eight paid search ads on Facebook. If you're not in the top eight, it probably means you can't afford to be there because you haven't got a good business. In which case, maybe it's the first eight paid search guys on Google for a particular term or a particular vertical that would work on Facebook. And you see also this crowding out effect also on Facebook to get the top spot inside uh, Facebook on the right hand side has become just as expensive? No, because the algorithm works in a different way. So we're not just competing for a particular term, I'm competing to try and reach a certain type of person. Now, I could bid, or somebody else could bid much higher than me, but actually the biggest uh, reason for an ad to show on Facebook is click-through rate. Mark Zuckerberg wants ads to be relevant, so he doesn't annoy people on his fantastic looking website, in which case, if you have a good click-through rate, a good relevance, a good ad, you will show in the top three. Which was the same in Google. If you have crappy ads uh, they, and you, you, can, uh, you can offer whatever you want, you're out of there. Absolutely, yeah, same thing. So he's, he's having the same approach as Google. Yeah, although he doesn't go into much more quality scoring like Google do yet, it's a very simple click-through rate is the biggest indicator of why your ad would show on Facebook. So how much can I uh, basically specify which public I want to, uh, I want to uh, reach? How much information does Facebook give me about the traffic? Facebook has something like 30 parameters that you can use, ranging from gender, uh, age, location, uh, distance from a location, college majors, political views, then keyword targeting, what people mention on their wall, or status updates, or other people mention. All of those things are available to me to target a user. Mm -hmm. So huge. That means also it's even more complex than Google. It's a marketer's dream, because Google don't really know much about what the user is. They just know what they're looking for. I don't know what they're looking for. I know a lot about them. Uh, the smarter stuff will be linking that with actual customer databases or things from Experian that start to make that very relevant with exactly what type of user you're trying to target. Mm -hmm. But can I, for example, if I know a lot about the, 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 the affiliate network, about the user and about the cookies he has, can I link that in some way about his, uh, with his Facebook uh, profile? Unfortunately not. Uh, Facebook don't allow that. But things are getting smarter as time goes on. Okay, so that is something which will grow. Now, what kind of technology do you have to have this endless amount of 30 variables and to basically map it on, uh, on my product and uh, the click-through ratios? H how do you do that? Yes. Because you need a lot more active uh, advertisements, right? Yeah, so we're lucky enough to be part of the Facebook Ad API program, which is still only in beta. We were an alpha partner. That means that we have access to all of this data via an API. 
and you have technology to do what paid search guys would call bid management or serving ads via technology. That means that we can create 5,000 new adverts in less than three minutes. And for a client like Vodafone, that might mean that we have 200,000 new adverts live every three days to make sure the ads don't suffer fatigue and we have micro-targeting en masse. But you need technology to do that. Okay. So then how do you get paid? What is your business model in that respect? Uh, we get paid for managing spend uh, for advertisers and we have a margin for that. Uh, we also actually license our technology to third parties, big advertisers or big agencies. Uh, and then we get paid on a percentage of spend. Yeah. So normally you basically, an advertiser pays you and, and the percentage goes to you and you basically optimize, optimize the advertisement. Yeah, and our margin is eclipsed by the performance that comes out. So to give you an example, uh, a CPA without technology might be 200, 250 euros with uh, a certain amount of volume. My volume will be 20 times that at half of that CPA. So my margin is eclipsed and the volume is pretty uh, interesting. Okay. Uh, tell me about TBG. TPG, 10 years old. Uh, the last two years have seen our meteoric rise to be the biggest Facebook advertiser globally. And we now manage most of Facebook's biggest advertisers in generating fans or sales. And you're where, located where? Yeah. We, we are in London as, a, as, a, as our homeland, but we have uh, offices in San Francisco, Chicago, New York, uh, Paris, and very soon in Germany. So you're a British firm who basically manages the biggest amount of advertisement on Facebook. Yeah, we're a lucky business to have been involved in this program with Facebook and we're making the most of it. How many people work there? Uh, just less than 100. Thank you very much. Lee Griffin, TBG.